welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review on the Shibexa hair extensions. Chanel over at Shibexa Hair was kind enough to send me some extensions to try and to share with you guys because I have been thinking about switching up from tapes to clip-ins for a little while now just to give my hair a break. Chanel from Shibexa Hair contacted me at the perfect time because I was like, hello, yes, I will try your extensions. So basically I'm just going to review Shibexa hair extensions, the customer service, um, the packaging and what my thoughts are on the extensions themselves so for me personally customer service is a really big thing when it comes to having contact with a company or communicating with a company luckily enough the Shibexa team were absolutely amazing and they were really informative and stuff when I had questions about the hair extensions and just different things in general like they were really open and quick to reply which is what I like and I don't know just sharing like information about them and things like that which is what I like if a company wants to send me stuff I want them to be open honest and communicate really well so two thumbs up from me for customer service absolutely amazing and I also got like a handwritten note when my extensions arrived so I thought that was really cute as well now packaging so freaking amazing you guys like packaging is just like a solid 10 out of 10 like the cutest packaging I've ever seen so it comes with like two little compartments that are like magnetized and open up so down the bottom this is the thing that really stood out to me the most because I've never seen this so it opens up and it's got a two clip weft and it's a tester so you can take it out of the little hairnet and test it to your hair and if it doesn't match you can just send it back because I know a lot of hair extension companies they will send you clip-ins um, and if you take them out of the packet to kind of like hold them up against your hair you can't get a refund if it doesn't match so I thought that was really cute and it also had a little label that said tester and just some information on the back as well so I thought that was really cute and a nice touch and then we go to the top compartment which has the rest of your hair extensions in and then it also has a couple of extra clips in case any break or you lose any or anything like that. And then underneath your hair it has care for your Shibexa hair extensions and it just has some tips and tricks on how to keep your hair extensions in the best condition possible and I think that's just really cute as well. And then on the back it has just some information about their hair extensions and also their social media platforms. So I'll pop them down below in case you guys are interested in checking them out as well. And Chanel also did colour match me and I think she did an amazing job because they blend so nicely. So for me, I feel like the packaging is just a 10 out of 10. I think it looks absolutely amazing. It's so sleek. This is the best packaging I've seen on hair extensions for me personally. I just think it's really cute. And you can also reuse the box if you're very savvy like I am. And the extensions that I got were the Remy Clip-In 220 gram 20 inch dirty blonde extensions. So the 220 gram set comes with two wefts which have four clips on them, which I'm currently wearing in my hair. And then it has two wefts with three clips on them. It comes with two wefts with two clips on them and one of the two clip wefts does come in the tester section. It's part of your like bundle of hair I suppose. And then it comes with four individual pieces. So for me personally I feel like that's not a lot of clips for the amount of hair you get which is a really good thing so you don't have to wear an entire head full of extensions to get the thickness and length that you want which I think is amazing because it's a lot more comfortable and just doesn't feel like you have a lot of hair in your head. And obviously I do currently have some extensions in my hair which are the Shibexa hair extensions which I'm only wearing half of the amount of hair extensions that I got which is absolutely amazing I think and they are just as thick at the top as they are at the bottom which is really good so I found that I didn't have to trim them at all they weren't like ratty or like they didn't have split ends on the ends of the hair or anything like that so that's amazing because I know sometimes even the company will say just trim the ends which I think is a bit scummy but anyway so yeah the hair is in really great condition quality is like 10 out of 10 I'm so obsessed so yeah I'm excited to continue to use these extensions um, I'm going to update you guys in maybe like a month or so and I might do another hair tutorial or something using these extensions and I'll just let you know how they're going like after I've been wearing them like a lot and wash them and things like that and how they feel compared to now so yeah I just want to give my hair a bit of a break from tape-ins because it gets a bit full-on having to wash your hair like all the time with tapes in it just like well, it actually just gets really frustrating after a while. I love tapings, don't get me wrong. I loved the tapings that I had so much, but I just felt it was time to switch it up to clip in so then I can top knot my hair again. I did do a top knot tutorial, so I'll pop that down below. I love top knots and it's just like so easy. Anyway, so yeah, I just want to also include in this video how I clip in my extensions because I sometimes like to sleep in my extensions and the way that I put them in is like really comfortable and I don't feel them at all. Can tug on my hair and they're not going to come out. So I just thought I'd throw that in this video as well, just quickly. 
Um, so yeah, let's jump into how I clip in my extensions. Okay, so when it comes to clipping in my extensions, I have like a certain way to do it so my hair extensions become almost like semi-permanent. And I know that might seem like a little bit weird, but after I've washed my hair the next day, I will straighten all my hair and I will clip my extensions in, but I do it a certain way so I can't really feel them in my hair and they're really nice and secure. And I find with the Shibexa hair hair extensions that there's a lot of hair but not a lot of wefts. And the clips are really nice and small, but they're really secure as well. They do have a silicon backing, so it does like keep your hair in place. As well as me teasing my hair, I find that it doesn't pull. It's really nice and secure. I do pretty much sleep with my clipping extensions in unless I feel like taking them out. They're usually not uncomfortable for me. So the way that I like to clip in my extensions is I like to start from the nape of the neck and work my way up. So I'm just going to take a section because I have like really long nails. I can take fairly clean sections. I don't know how you guys are going to be able to see this too well, but we'll give it a whirl. Okay, so we've got our first section and then I just like to spray it with hairspray first before I start teasing it. I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but I like to tease each section because I find that it just holds a lot better and I like to tease it quite a lot. I have really fine silky hair. Even like a little bit of teasing just falls straight out so I find that I have to really get in there. And it just brushes out so easy for me. So depending on your hair type, thickness and things like that, maybe don't tease it as much if you're trying to clip in your extensions like this. So I'm going to take this two clip weft first for down the bottom. And obviously because there's only two clips, I only have to tease in two spots. And I can kind of like roughly measure how far each section has to be. I'm kind of like used to doing it now, but if you're not like comfortable or you're just new to clipping extensions then maybe like go ahead and measure like where you should tease. And then we're just going to unclip the little clips and just slide them in and just snap it shut. And there we go. So long. The quality of this hair is actually like phenomenal. I will also do like an updated video and maybe like another hair tutorial, maybe in a couple of months or something and let you guys know how they're going. Okay, so our first weft is in and then we're going to continue to do the rest. And then I'm going to take another section just above the ears, probably about a centimeter all the way around. And then we're just going to repeat the same steps. And I don't put a lot of hairspray in, just like a little bit so it's a little bit tacky. So when it comes to putting the four clips in, I like to tease two back sections and then tease the side sections because it's such a long weft. Um, I just like to make sure that it's you know, measured correctly. So start off with the two middle clips and then work my way to the two outer clips. And then we can kind of like measure how far, so about here. And I also like to do it so it's like really tight and secure. So it just like stays in place. Like you can pull on my hair and it's not going to go anywhere. And then I'm just going to do the same on the other side. And you'll know if your hair like feels uncomfortable or there's like one hair just pulling, then obviously you can just like readjust. Um, so I'm just doing the same thing, just another section about a centimeter above that. And I'm putting in another four weft piece. And then I've got two of these single weft pieces and I did trim these myself. Um, if you guys need your extensions trimmed, I'd suggest you get a hairdresser to do it. Just for around the face because I do have obviously shorter hair than my extensions just to help blend them in a little bit. And I'm just going to pop those in just there.
So I just went and straightened like the top part of my hair because it's kind of like kinked from the sectioning clip. But yeah, this is what my hair kind of looks like with the extensions in. So I hope you guys did learn something from this video or at least found it entertaining. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And also, if you guys have any video requests, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!